What's up guys, today we're gonna check out the new Halo Infinite Limited Edition Elite Series 2 controller for Xbox. First thing you're gonna wanna know is this is a pretty heavy box, a lot heavier than the standard controller. It's heavy meaning it costs a lot more as well. It's basically like buying four regular controllers, $200 US, 180 pounds if you're in the UK, and $260 in Canada. That's about $20 more than the standard Elite Series 2, which isn't really much of a difference. If you're gonna spend this much on a controller, you might as well get this one. You're paying of course for the Halo Infinite design, the premium build quality, and there's tons of customization options. And yes, for that much money, it does have a rechargeable battery. This works with the Xbox Series X and S, the Xbox One, Windows 10, Android, and iOS. There's quite a lot inside of this box. You get the limited edition controller, two interchangeable D-pads, two interchangeable pedals, six interchangeable thumbsticks, a carrying case with a built-in charging dock and a USB-C cable. And there's also a thumbstick adjustment tool. Two seals on the back here, so let's open this up. The box itself has all kinds of Halo inspired design on it. Pretty cool one on the inside here. This is the carrying case. It fits the controller and all the accessories. There's also a USB-C charging cable. This one's really good quality. It's Halo inspired green and orange to match the case and the controller. You can plug this into the carrying case and charge the controller that way. Or it's actually long enough that you can also have it plugged directly into the controller and play while you're charging. And all the printed material. There is a download code for in-game content. This will get you the exclusive Perfect Control Legendary Weapon Charm, which essentially looks just like the controller you're buying. Then there is a user manual. If you've never owned Elite Series 2 controller before, I highly recommend you skim through this. And here is a safety guide. All right, so back to the good stuff. Here is the carrying case. It's in dark green with a UNSC insignia and inside is the controller. It looks like Master Chief's suit with that green metallic plates, a bit battle-worn, and there is the iridium gold D-pad. The joysticks are in green. The A, B, X, Y buttons are black with green letters. The power button's green as well. There's also a small charging light indicator here on the front and there's three lights in the center that represent the battery life. One blue light when it's low and three blue lights when it's fully charged. On the back here there's a plate with the number 117 and that represents Master Chief's alias John 117 or Spartan 117. There's more nice design details on the back here as well. All the Elite controllers have these additional pedals at the back and these are of course removable and interchangeable. Now the grips here are really nice, a lot nicer than the standard controller of course. These are rubber, soft to the touch. The pattern also goes really well with the overall rugged design. Now customization, customization, customization. That's what this controller is about. You can interchange the D-pad, the same thing with the joysticks. And it's amazing how easy it is to change these. It just takes a split second. You also get this thumbstick adjustment tool and it lets you adjust the tension on the thumbsticks between three levels. And for me, I found this useful not just for Halo Infinite, but also for Forza Horizon. Overall, a really good build quality controller here. This is really the best I've seen. Every button press, every Joy-Con move just feels premium. There's of course the premium price tag as well, but at least they're including a ton of accessories, including this case that can hold everything and protect your expensive controller. You can travel with it and even charge the controller while it's inside the case. For the rest of the video, I'm gonna show you some more gameplay of how this controller looks in action. Let me know what you think. Is it worth the $200 price tag? And make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel.